What's up, so there's your boy Chris here. I forget to all you. I asked on Facebook if you all would be interested in a herb roasted Parisian to, uh, potato. Many of you, I think there were about 500 people with the thumbs up. Wicked, you know. Um, but here we go. It is not a Caribbean recipe by no means. So I'm going to post this on ChrisDeLaRosa.com for those of you who want something to be able to print out, to put in the kitchen and, you know, do your thing. So herb roasted Parisian potatoes, but you can use any potato. And, um, yeah, a nice Sunday something, man. There we go. The first step is to boil these and these, this is what they call the Parisian potatoes. It's pretty much ball potatoes so they have to scoop, they scoop out a potato. And you can get them in the in your grocery store. I'm just going to give it a rinse because I haven't um, washed it yet since it came out of the package. Then I'm going to bring up some water uh, just to cover it. Salt that water and bring it up to a boil and let it boil for about 10 minutes or so. Until um, it's nice and tender, well not all the way through but maybe 80% cook. It's just starting to come up to a boil now. One of the things I wanted to mention, you can use Yukon Gold Potato, any sort of potato that you like. You can cut them into chunks and you can do the, get the same sort of results that I'm getting here. All you want to do now is skim off that starch and remember to salt that water um, because that's the only salt we're going to be adding to this dish. I'm just prepping my stuff. I've got here some chopped parsley. I've got here a couple big sprigs of rosemary. If rosemary is not your thing, it took me a while to fall in love with rosemary. Um, fresh thyme would work great. I've got some black pepper and some one large clove of garlic that I slice very thin. Over here, and my oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I just went in with a healthy dose of olive oil in my baking dish. We want to stick that in the oven for about five to six minutes to let that oil heat up and let the dish and everything else become nice and hot. We've got the potatoes all drained and waiting. Now all I'm waiting for is that dish to get nice and hot, that baking dish to get nice and hot before we put everything together and introduce it to the oven. The oil is nice and hot from being in the oven, so now is where we're going to start going in with all that flavor. And I've got that nice thin slices of garlic. And I'm putting it in first because I want that to warm through and start creating a lot of flavors. And I'm just going to, you can hear that sizzle. Woo! That's really going to wake up things with this, uh, this rosemary. Then we're going to go in, and I've got to admit something. Usually, when I have it, I usually use bacon fat in there. That bacon fat, oh yo yo, flavors. Be careful when you're adding the potatoes in there. I can dump it out, but I don't want that oil flying back at me. Well, I'll go brave. I'm gonna give that a, to stir that around a bit. We want that oil. You need to stir that so the oil coats all of that potato. I've got here my parsley. And of course, some fresh ground black pepper. Just want to show you guys something quickly. A nice little close up of the oil being hot, it's already um, heating through that herbs, that, um, that rosemary. You can hear that sizzle. And it's, I'm telling you, it's smelling wicked in here already. Give that a mix and put it on the middle rack in your oven. After about half an hour in the oven, I'm just going to take it out and give it a good shake. You want to cut it. Where's all those nice brown bits on the bottom? I'm telling you, that garlic and that rosemary. Mm, kitchen smelling wicked. Back in the oven until we get nice golden color all the way through. So there you go, friends. It took one hour in total in the oven. Um, you can still hear that sizzle going on there. But if you want to give it a bit more color, you can turn the broil setting, which is about, I think about 525 degrees for the last couple minutes. Wicked for days. This will not be posted on CaribbeanPod.com, being it is not a Caribbean recipe. But I will post it on ChrisDeLaRosa.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Bless up.